Ben, you know I've been a waterfowler most of my life and started out with expert and dry lock and then back in the day, extended range. And once we came out with blindside, it found its way into my waterfowl bag and it hasn't left since. Yeah, and you know the crazy thing is, it's been almost a decade since we introduced blindside. And now we're taking blindside to the next level with blindside two. Well, what really, you know, once you have a product like Blindside that's such a home run, Winchester just doesn't sit back and sit on their heels. They go in and say, how can we make it better? How have you made it better? Well, it really starts with that secret sauce, which is the hex shot. You know, we've re-engineered that shot to be even more aerodynamic and fly through and get better, even more consistent patterns. I'm sitting here looking at from the old Blindside 1 to the Blindside 2 hex shot. When I look at the older shot, it's more hard angles, right? And then when you get to the new shot, it's rounded, but you still got that hex shape to it. Yeah, so we were looking at how can we get this to fly more like round, but still hit like hex. And you'll see with that new hex shot design, we've done that. So it's more aerodynamic, it's gonna retain higher velocity downrange, gonna hit harder downrange, and it really just takes Blindside 2 to the next level. One of the things that I think really sets Blindside apart and most Winchester waterfowl loads is what you can't see, what's going on inside the shell. Yeah, so that, and you're talking about the dry lock system, and that dry lock system um, really kind of sets us apart in, you know, with everyone in our class, and it allows us to, you know, be in those tough conditions. You know, waterfowl hunters are, you know, some of the toughest hunters that are out there. You're going to be encountering times where your stuff's going to get wet, and you don't want your powder getting wet, and you also don't want your shot rusting. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of peace of mind to know that whatever conditions you're in, the bullet's going to go off whenever you pull the trigger. Yeah, so you know when it goes off, you, you want the pattern to be good as well. And when rust happens, so for instance, we plate the shot. This hex shot's plated. Um, it's going to keep that shot from getting you know that moisture in there and rusting. And when it rusts, your pellets don't fly as straight. They might even stick together. It's going to blow your pattern, and you're not going to be happy with that kind of performance. So Ben, the one thing that I love about blindside is the, its versatility. Whether I'm going to be shooting decoy and ducks at 20 yards or passing snow geese at 60, this is the shell still in my bag. Yeah, you know, and one of the things about hex shot from a versatility standpoint, that's what we were looking for back 10 years ago. Um, the most ideal waterfowl hunting load for, you know, decoying birds or passover birds. And that shot, that hex shot allows that shot to be stacked in there. The shape of that shot allows the shot to stack more tightly. You fit 15% more pellets in the shell, allowing for just more pellets on target and in your pattern. And one thing that we, we touched on earlier, but I don't think it can be overlooked without mentioning it again, is the trauma that this hex shot creates to the birds. Yeah, so those flats, they act like just a ton of bricks on those birds. And, you know, it, it crushes wings, it gets to vitals, it does everything you need to do when it comes to taking waterfowl down. And I guess these are gonna be offered in a lot of the same similar type of loads that original is offered in? Yeah, absolutely. So those same velocities, those same payloads, um, you know, we looked at all the offerings we had in Blindside and we're gonna offer those same things in Blindside 2. Well, for more information on Blindside 2 and all the offerings that they're available, go to winchester.com.